Hello friends, welcome you to our YouTube channel, The Master of Active Directory. Today I'm gonna tell you 10 tips for effective Active Directory design. Active Directory design is a science and it is far too complex to cover all the new sciences within the confines of one video. But I wanted to share with you 10 quick tips that will help you make your AD design more efficient and easier to troubleshoot and manage. So let's go. Tips number one, keep it simple. The first bit of advice is to keep things as simple as you can. Active Directory is designed to be flexible and it offers numerous type of object and components. But just because you can use something doesn't mean you should. Keeping your Active Directory as simple as possible will help improve overall efficiency and it will make the troubleshooting process easier whenever problems arise. Tips 2. Use appropriate size topology. Although there is a definitely something to be said for simplicity, you shouldn't shy away from creating more complex structure when it is appropriate. Larger network will almost always require multiple active directory sites. The site topology should mirror your network topology. Portion of the network that are highly connected should fall within a single site. Site link should mirror WAN connections with each physical facility that is separated by WAN link, encompassing a separate active directory site. Tips number three: Use dedicated domain controllers. I've seen a lot of smaller organizations try to save a few bucks by configuring their domain controllers to pull double duty. For example, an organization might have a domain controller that also act as a file server or as a mail server. Whenever possible, your domain controller should run on dedicated servers, physical or virtual. Adding additional role to a domain controller can affect the server's performance, reduce the security, and complicate the process of backing up or restoring the server. Tips number four, have at least two DNS servers. Another way that smaller organizations sometimes try to economize is by having only a single DNS server. The problem with this is that Active Directory is totally dependent upon the DNS services. If you have a single DNS server that and that DNS server fails, Active Directory will cease to function. Tips number five: Avoid putting all your eggs in one basket. One of the main reasons organizations use multiple domain control is to provide a degree of all tolerance in case of one of the domain control fails. However, this redundancy is often circumvented by server virtualization. I often see organizations place all their virtualized domain controller into a single virtualization host server. So if that host server fails, all the domain controls will go down with it. There is nothing wrong with virtualizing your domain controllers, but you should scatter the domain controllers across the multiple host servers. Tips number six, don't neglect the FSMO roles backups. Although Windows 2000 and every subsequent version of Windows Server have supported the multi-master domain controls model, some, some domain controllers are more important than others. Domain controllers that are hosting flexible single master operations roles are critical to Active Directory help. Active Directory is designed to that if a domain controller that is hosting FSM roles fails, AD can continue to function. For a while, eventually, though a FSMO domain controller failures can be very disruptive. I've heard some IT pros say that you don't have to back up every domain controls on the network because of the way Active Directory information is replicated between domain controllers. While there is some degree of truth in that statement, backing up FSMO role holders is critical. I once had to assist with the recovery effort uh, for an organization in which a domain controller had failed. Unfortunately, this domain controller held all of the FSMO roles and acted as the organization's only global catalog server and as the only DNS server to make matters worse. There was no backup of the domain controller. We ended up having to rebuild Active Directory from scratch. This is an extreme example, but it shows how important domain control backups can be. Tips number seven, plan your domain structure and stick to it. 
most organizations start out with a carefully orchestrated Active Directory architecture. As time goes on, however, Active Directory can evolve in a rather haphazard manner. To avoid this, I recommended planning in advance for eventual Active Directory growth. You may not be able to predict exactly how Active Directory will grow, but you can at least put some governance in place to dedicate the structure that will be used when it does. Tips number 8. Have a management plan in place before you start starting up servers. Just as you need to plan your Active Directory structure upfront, you also need to have a good management plan in place. Who will administrate Active Directory? Will one person or team take care of the entire thing or will management responsibilities be divided according to domain or organization unit? These type of management decisions must be made before you actually begin setting up domain controllers. Tips number 9. Try to avoid making major logisti logistical changes. Active Directory is designed to be extremely flexible and it is possible to perform a major restructuring of it without downtime or data loss. Even so, I would recommend that you avoid restructuring your Active Directory if possible. I have seen more than one situation in which the restructuring process resulted in some Active Directory object being corrupted, especially when moving objects between domain controllers running a different uh, version of Windows Server. Tips number 10. Place at least one global catalog server in each site. Finally, if you are operating an Active Directory consisting of multiple sites, make sure that each one has its own global catalog server. Otherwise, Active Directory client will have to traverse van link to look up information from a global catalog. So friends, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and press bell icon to get notification of latest update and information. So goodbye, see you in next video.